What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be pushing to 25 wins in the Double Evolution Global Tournament with this Goblin Giant Recruits deck. Right now I'm at 20 wins. I'm in the first game here against Necho. I don't have a great starting hand. Uh, he cycles a log. I don't really need to do anything yet. Okay, he goes for the wall breaker, so I'm just going to recruit. Easily take out those wall breakers, good counter push as well. He plays a firecracker, well, I think I can hit the little prince too with the fireball, we do. He pops the ability, so I think his little prince is going to live. That's fine though, he spent a lot of elixir. Pretty good damage on the left side as well. I'll go for a little prince, and then he goes for a minor. I'm just going to rage to make sure his little prince dies, and then my little prince should go back and hit the minor. Yeah, perfect. Still have a damage lead. Looking fine on elixir. He pressures the other lane. Those archers were a bit late, I think he's going to get one wall breaker connection. Yeah, he does. We're still looking fine though. Nice hit from that little prince on the tower, the archers get taken out. I'm just going to activate king on his, fi on his firecracker. Okay, I don't know what that play was. And he wastes his ability. Yeah, the bowler's just going to take that all out. The bowler might almost die, but he just spent 6 elixir at the bridge for no reason. Good elixir exchange no matter what. And fisherman's on the right tower, 2 more hits. Definitely still have the damage lead, everything's looking pretty good. He just has minor wall breakers too. I don't know if he's going to be able to defend us perfectly. I think he might have the deck to defend well, but I don't... I doubt he's going to play perfect defense and be able to stop us. Why would he play the cannon in the corner there? I can just play a goblin giant on the left and bypass that cannon. If I rage, hopefully the goblin giant can... Like the spear goblins with the goblin giant can kill the firecracker. Oh, that was actually pretty bad. His firecracker survives and... I didn't realize he had the evo skelly, so I wasted the rage. I have to tank that wall breaker damage on the right side. Okay, the Evo Skellies are gonna die. And then the fisherman should take out the little prince and the firecracker. Okay, he pops the ability. But a bowler should just take out the little prince. Yeah, we're fine again. Looks like he's just gonna chill. Just split the archers in the back. I, I can actually fireball that. Just give me more damage on the tower. And there's nothing I really want to cycle into a firecracker anyway. Just gonna go for the recruits in the back. Not a bad play, and I'll get back to the evil ones. I don't have anything for those wall breakers. I don't want to overcommit on the wall breakers. I think I'm fine sacking that damage. I think we can still take his tower out. Because we can break through here if we build a really big push. I'm not I'm not too worried about that damage. Evil archers in the middle. They actually don't reach the cannon, that's annoying. If I go fireball rage, I can kill his little prince though. Is that enough damage to win? Rage Goblin Giant on tower. The Fisherman does die, and he has the Evo Skellies. Ooh, last hit from the Goblin Giant. Let's go, that's in Fireball range. Bowler. The Bowler hits the Wall Breakers, that's good. I just need to get back to one more Fireball. Little Prince just to block, go for the Archers, and then get a Fireball down. He got pretty close, but I'm pretty sure we're fine. Yeah, just get that Fireball down. Let's go, good first game in the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. So we're in the next game here. I could split the Archers, seems like a pretty good first play. See what he wants to do. Okay, he goes for a little prince. I could fireball, I could go for a little prince. I think I'm just gonna bowler though. Then just chill for now. Okay, he goes for a goblin giant. Could be a mirror matchup. A lot of people have goblin giant in general though, a lot of different variations of this deck. Go for the little prince so it hits the goblin giant, and then I think I can go for recruits too. Go for four on the left to make sure his goblin giant gets taken out. He'll probably get a hit or two on the on the tower, but pretty good defense overall. Yeah, he gets one hit. We have a nice counter push though on both sides. He goes for a fisherman. It's not going to activate king on the bowler. Decent fireball by him. If we go for an ability here and then I raged his archer to kill it. Okay, good goblins. Not an exact mirror matchup as he has the goblins. A lot of people do have the goblins instead of the... Instead of... Maybe it's the bowler. I'm not sure exactly what card's different, but it definitely helped him there. I might just split the archers again here. Yeah, just put them in the back. Definitely good to be patient, and then once you have the evil archers, evil recruits, and can build a really big push, that's when you get aggressive, but you don't want to be too aggressive without your evos in cycle in a challenge like this. He goes for his recruits. If you guys don't know with recruits, whoever plays the recruits second completely wins the interaction. And I'm hoping the bowler can help out with the recruits on the left, that's why I only played two on the left to counter his 
and then our four recruits should take out his three really easily. Ability to maybe hit the recruits. Oh, I hit the ability slightly too early, so it didn't hit the fisherman too, but it's fine. Still pretty good, and it's definitely going to be tough for him to stop this. Go for a rage. Um, that recruit on the left is going to hit the tower, and I thought his archer was going to get taken out. Pretty good overall. If I go for the archers, I think he's just going to fireball or something and kill them quickly. I'm going to save them until I'm sure they can get more value. This is going to be pretty tough. Hopefully the fisherman can pull it to king. I think that's my best chance of defending here. Yeah. Oh wait, I need to fireball that quickly. Nice, his evo archers are dead. He's going to get quite a bit of damage here, but the evo archers are probably the scariest thing in his deck, so taking that out. That fisherman got so much value. Wow. That just pulled everything. We're losing on damage, but trust me, we're in a pretty decent spot right now. Just go for the recruits in the back. Okay, he goes for his recruits, too. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do here. Some point soon, I have to get a little more aggressive. Go for the archers now. Even if he go plays his spell, they're going to get a bit of value. Yeah, they each got a few really big hits before his fireball came down, so that's good. Fireball and the fisherman and little prince. Rage, too. Oh, he didn't get his ability off in time. That rage goblin giant is going to get so much work on his tower. His left tower is almost down. Get the recruits down before that right recruit does any more damage. His recruits plus goblins plus archers might win the interaction on the left, especially with the rage, but it's fine because the bowler is just going to take everything out. Yeah, I just got to hold on for a tiny bit longer and then either get a goblin giant fruit, get a goblin giant through or spell cycle. Just let the archers in the back. Just be patient. No reason to get over aggressive here. That's the only way I can lose. Just fireball that. And then get the little prince down. I think the little, yeah, bad little prince, but it's certainly fine. These evo archers are the only thing that can give me some trouble, but I, hopefully those recruits can take them out. Oh no, those archers are staying alive for a while. Rage, hopefully. One of the one of the archers got taken out. Nice, the other one goes down too. Yeah, it's looking really good right now. Just go for a bowler. It's gonna hit through and kill that little prince. Archers here. Okay. Recruits. Yeah, there's no way he wins this interaction. Just go for a goblin giant. I don't think he can stop it. That should be GG. Yeah, his fisherman's not going to pull that. He has to go little prince, maybe. Yeah, just rage, and then... Yeah, that's tower down. GG. I'll see you guys in the next game. Just found the next game against Crazy. We're at 22 wins now. Okay, he splits the archers in the back. I don't have a great starting play. I'm just going to go for the recruits. I don't love playing the recruits first play, especially if they have recruits, because the recruits that are played second do much better. Oh, um, this is actually really bad. Recruits first play get punished most often against Sparky. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to defend this, because the only really good Sparky counter in this deck is recruits. He'll probably go for a Goblin Giant in front, I don't even know what to do. Guess I have to go for a Bowler, okay, he goes for a Knight. And he has a Goblin Giant too, yeah, there's no way I stop those. Have to try to go for a Fisherman, but... Uh, and the Bowler goes down, yeah, this Sparky's about to lock on Tower, I can't even play anything to stop it. He wasted his arrows though. Okay, my Tower's down and everything looks really bad, but... He kind of overcommitted with those arrows, so I'm going to go for Recruits at the bridge, this is basically my only chance. And he's BMing with that well played. Okay, I think I'm going to pop the Little Prince ability too. Just get as much stuff down as- oh, and he has minions. Minions are going to do really well, but hopefully I can get a bit of damage on the right first. And look how low his left tower is. Looks like he's going to lose almost his whole left tower. Oh, actually, it's his entire left tower. I'm down a little bit of elixir now, but... Yeah, his whole left tower is down and half his right tower. So somehow that actually worked out relatively well for us. I want to have my recruits back in hand if he goes for another Sparky, but... This definitely played out better than I expected, and... If I don't waste my recruits again, we should be good. Just go for my bowler in the same lane as the Sparky. Sooner or later, I should be able to get the recruits, but I'm actually not sure. I might have to go for a Goblin Giant just to tank those shots. Yeah, go for a Goblin Giant, like, kind of into his Goblin Giant, and then go for a Fisherman. Oh, he plays the Evo Archers. It seems bad because the Fisherman's not going to pull, but... Killing his Evo Archers without them getting any value is huge there. And his Sparky missed. Oh, this is really good. I can go for recruits at the bridge. And we have the evil archers too. 
He has to kill these evil archers quickly or he's in trouble. He gets a sparky down. Okay. His evil knight's almost getting taken out, that's good. Yeah, his evil knight actually is gonna get taken out, it looks like. Nice. One bowler shot and his sparky should be gone. I think that hits the sparky, yeah it does, that's good. His king tower is getting pretty low too, but I think I'm just gonna keep tar targeting his side tower. No reason to switch unless... Unless we get like a big counter push, but he's attacking the right, so the counter push is going into... His right tower. Well, his left tower, but like, it's on the right for me. Split the archers here. I'm gonna go for the high recruits on the sparky, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully that takes out his sparky. Go for a fireball and everything. Yeah, sparky gets taken down. How's he gonna stop these recruits' rage? Oh, he gets like goblin giant down just in time. I'm gonna pop the ability just to push it back and kill his goblin giant. Go for the archers to take down the minions. Kill the goblin giant as well. Yeah, we, we're not really getting any damage, but we still have a nice lead, so... As long as we keep playing passively, we should be fine. He goes for another sparky, I'm gonna bowler there. I don't know why he's saying well played, he was definitely BMing before. If we win, we're gonna make sure to BM him back. I'm gonna fireball, making sure to hit the mini P.E.K.K.A. too. Pretty decent fireball. Oh, this is kind of scary with the Evo Knight too. Wait, are we okay? And he has, he has both Evos and everything coming down. Low Evo Archers, we might have just lost. High Bowler, tank the Sparky Shot and kill the Evo Archers. Rage, just to take care of that Evo Archer. Somehow his Evo Knight died. Little Prince just to block that. Oh, we're actually fine, wow. And pop the ability. Bad ability, but it's fine. I don't know how we defended that. I think we're fine now. That was like the only way we could have lost. That was really good defense, though. I could Fireball the Sparky, but there's no real reason to. I'm gonna go for a Goblin Giant in the pocket. I don't feel like waiting with the next 30 seconds. Hopefully he just loses sooner. No, he's not going to. I'm gonna Fireball that. Should take care of the Sparky, though. Sparky's still alive, but that did do a lot. Two Bowler Shots, I think, take out that Sparky. Yeah, the first one hits, and hopefully this one hits, too. Nice, the Sparky gets taken down. He's still going for Sparky's in the back with 20 seconds left. Go for another Goblin Giant, and then just Fireball. Rage, and then with the Bowler, that should be game. Yeah, that's game. We're going to BM him as he was BMing at the beginning. Give him a couple crying faces, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. I'm up against Wii here. This could be a relatively tough game. I think this guy's a good player. I'm just going to split the archers in the back. That's my best starting play by far. He goes for a rage. That's fine. See what else he wants to do. Okay, he goes for a little prince. I'm just going to mirror it with my own little prince. He could fireball. Maybe he'll have like a bowler. I assume we have a pretty similar deck here. I'm just going to fireball his with the archer shot. It's going to take out his little prince. And yeah, he does have a bowler. My little prince is going to get taken out by his bowler, but it's fine. Maybe I'll be able to activate king with the fisherman. I don't think so because I played the bowler, but I kind of had to play the bowler. I'm just going to fisherman here, not trying to activate king. I just His bowler might get one hit on my tower, but it's fine. Yeah, it does get one hit. It shouldn't get another. And I'm actually kind of happy with this, because once again, this guy played the recruits before I did, and I always like playing the recruits second. Okay, good fisherman, but Bowler still got a bit of work in, and these archers are kind of shredding his recruits, and now he has no recruits, so I'm going to go for the recruits, and overall, a pretty solid start. He goes for a little prince. I could fireball rage, but that's pretty aggressive. He goes for arrows. And my fisherman pulled his little prince. I'm just going to go for my old little prince to make sure his dies. He pops the ability. Okay, I'm going to go for a bowler. His little prince gets two hits on mine, but it's fine. I might pop the ability to get in front of the bowler. It's a... I don't know if it's a good play. He goes for a bowler, so I'm kind of glad I didn't do it. I might be able to activate king off this bowler. Depends if he wants to support it. Oh, he goes for evil recruits at the bridge. I don't have a great hand for this. Go for the goblin giant just to kite the recruits because I don't really have anything else in cycle. I could go for the archers here, but I don't really want to give him too much value. Get the evil recruits down quickly. Okay, barely got those down in time, but that's good. Okay, we're fine here. We're pretty much even in damage. With our recruit on the, on the left, I think we're up a little bit. So it's going fine. Oh wait, the fisherman's gonna pull his bowler, that's actually really good. Okay, that's good. 
Um, one bowler hit on his fisherman, probably. Oh wait, maybe two. Okay, his fisherman always get almost gets taken out. Bowler gets a shot on the tower there. Fireball just to take care of his evil archers, and it's still looking fine. That one evil archer is still alive. He goes for a rage, so it's dead. But really good value from that evil archer. And then I'm just gonna recruit, so I don't have to worry about that fisherman. Four recruits go to the right, which I'm happy with, since he went for a bowler on the left. And then I don't know what he has. I'm just gonna go for a goblin giant behind that. He has a fisherman, but it's gonna be tough for him to pull the goblin giant through the recruits. He'll pull the goblin giant now, but really big damage. Goblin giant still on the tower. That recruits on tower. That was like half his tower, that was huge. We're down a little bit, so we gotta play good defense here, but we have the evil recruits, so no matter what he does, I think we're gonna be fine. Try to activate king with that fisherman. Nice, we do get the king activation. And then this little prince is gonna die. It can maybe ability onto everything. Oh, once again, I popped the ability slightly too early, that's annoying. Really good fireball value here, and then just go for the evil recruits up high and perfect defense. Don't have to worry about elixir anymore. We have the king activated. Huge damage lead. This is looking really good. Okay, his bowler's getting lots of value on the side again here, and I have no recruits in hand, so could be a pretty annoying defense. Only a minute left. Okay, try to pull his goblin giant. Oh no, he has the evil archers. I could try to fireball the evil archers, but I had to worry more about that little prince just because of how close it was to the tower. That goblin giant just got tons of damage. He's close to tying up the game. And he has another bowler. Wait, he's kind of taking control of this game. He has the evil recruits on the field. This could be bad. Goes for another goblin giant. How am I going to defend that? Evil archers are getting value, but... Okay, goes for an arrows. Fisherman pull. Hopefully goblin giant, no damage. Nice, no damage. That's big. That might be a game winning play. Okay, I think we're going to rush a goblin giant now. Because I don't really know what he's going to do about it. He goes for the recruits. I don't care. I'm still... I'm still pushing the Goblin Giant into that. His tower's so low that he has to overcommit on defense, then he can't play offense. So that should be game. Yeah, just make sure to defend for 10 more seconds. Just block the lane with a bowler. Okay, he goes for a Goblin Giant, pull it with Fisherman. My Fisherman gets distracted, but two seconds, there's no way his Goblin Giant does enough. GG. I'll see you guys in the next game. I'm at 24 wins now, up against Frank Mini. Give him the good luck. Okay, my starting hand's not great. I'm just going to rage his tower. Pretty safe play. He splits the archers. Still don't have a great cycle. I'm just going to go for the little prince. I could have gone for the recruits, but it's kind of a lot to do first play. Oh no, he has a balloon. I have a really bad cycle. I can fireball and then go archers, but he might have like arrows or snowball for the archers. He has a snowball. He already gets a hit. I might go for the little prince ability, but yeah, maybe not the best ability there. He goes for a knight, and his knight targets the little prince, so yeah, not a great play there. Okay, gonna be tough to come back from this bad start. I'll see what I can do, though. Already down pretty much a thousand, and we didn't really get any damage. Not like we have a huge elixir lead, either. Just go for the bowler to clog up that lane. Not gonna do much against a balloon, though. I might try to go for, like, a high fisherman to pull that little prince. Yeah, maybe he won't expect this. Okay. Can I protect that fisherman with the... Okay, I'm protecting the fisherman. Oh, everything goes down. It was looking good with a big counter push, but then that ability basically took everything out, and my tower's pretty much gone. I don't even have, like, such a huge counter push. Those archers are taking almost everything out. Maybe pop the ability, potentially rage. Uh, I guess I'll rage. Oh, his snowball knocked the... Guardian onto his tower. He's still winning, but that was pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try to kite that up with the Goblin Giant. I think I could have gone archers. I kind of want to save them for the balloon if I can, though. Like, there's no way I'm gonna protect my left tower this game, so I'm gonna somehow have to try to take his left tower and not overcommit on defense. Assuming he goes for the left. If he goes for the right tower, we could be in trouble. Hopefully, he goes for the left, though. Okay, he goes for a balloon. I know I'm going to lose the tower at some point, but might as well try to protect it for now. And he played the miner on the archers, so he's going to get death damage, but our tower's still going to survive. I was going to push evil recruits at the bridge, but with those evil archers, there's no reason to do that. Two big little prince hits on the tower. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for a fisherman on the right. Please pull the evil knight, pull the evil knight. Oh no, it's not pulling the evil knight. Okay, somehow we need to get a goblin giant on his tower. And he just... Oh, he has a bomb tower, oh god. Um, goblin giant, evil archers. Oh no, he takes the evil archers out. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time, there's only 11 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna have to fireball that. Fireball, okay, I'm gonna fireball. He gets a bomb tower down. Goblin Giant's locked on the tower. Oh, wow, we we just tied the game. Okay, really big lead on the right side, too. It's still not going to be that easy, because I don't have too many balloon counters, especially since he has snowball and arrows, but we, we definitely have a chance now. I don't want to fireball on defense. If he gets a hit, it's fine. Yeah, I don't want to, like, overcommit there. Oh, he goes for the ability, and the Guardian dodges through the fireball. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go for recruits, try to protect these archers. Make them commit more elixir. Okay, he goes for a bomb tower. Just go for the archers, not the best archers. Okay, I'm gonna just go for a little prince right there in case he wants to go for a balloon. Looks like he doesn't want to at the moment. I could fireball the bomb tower and the archer. Oh, I can hit the little prince though, that's much better. Then rage too. Nice, that goes down. Goblin Giant's raged. One hit on the tower, no, no hits. And he has the Evo Knight tanking. I have to block the bridge. Wait, he goes for a balloon in the back. And he has the Evo Archers, okay. Gotta take his Evo Archers out. I should have played them like a tile further back. Okay, the Archers are dead, but... Goblin Giant plus Little Prince, I doubt this gets a hit. I'm gonna rage just in case. He has to watch out on the right side too, that Evo Recruit could take his tower. Okay, Goblin Giant's on the tower. Yeah, GG. You guys can see I'm at 25-2 and two in the global tourney now. I'll try to make another video on the global tourney before it ends. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and potentially check out another video on my channel as well. Bye.